Next question. Question four. Consider the following matrix. Uh, a matrix is given. What is the missing number at question mark in the matrix? That is a question. So in such questions, um, the approach should be look for any number that you are familiar with, any pattern that you are familiar with, and try to see whether any relation you can come up with any relationship and check whether that holds true for uh, other elements. So here one uh, six six is three. Uh, if you see three into if you three, we can see. 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 into 2 is 6. These are common relationships. And the moment you come to the next element, you can see 8 plus something. Can, it is difficult for that plus to come here. So it, 8 is 8 into something is 56. So 8 into 7 is 56. So if you see, if you compare these two, it looks something like now it is looking something like x into x minus 1 right so see whether this relationship is true for next elements so 10 10 is some 10 is uh, 10 into 9 right 10 into 9 so 10 into 9 90 so that that is that, that is true for the next element so for 2 2 into 1 which is 2 so that is true 1 1 into 0 is 0 so that x into x minus 1 relationship holds true for other other uh, uh, cons also. So uh, for so we uh, to find the answer x into x minus 1 has to be 20. So it, it is uh, 5. So if you look at the options you can clearly see 5, 5 if x is 5, 5 into 4 is 20. So correct answer is A. So the solution to question 4 is A. This is how you approach in the exam hall. Uh, there is a good chance that you panic when you see such questions and you in that panic you will not be able to find the what relationship is it is and you uh, since there is a lot of numbers. So focus on one or two uh, one or two numbers that you are familiar with and see whether any relationship is there between that instead of looking all the numbers just focus on one or two so that you can quickly find some relationship and see whether that relationship works in other elements also okay